Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you? My name is Melvin from MiracleBox and in this video we're going to show you how to update your MiracleBox 3.0. Now before we begin, let me definitely just say thank you to all of our customers for your patience and understanding. We have grown really, really fast and we've had thousands of customers and we probably only have about maybe 10 to 12 people that are working to help this. So we definitely want to say thank you for your patience. Give us at least 24 hours to get back with you. And if you need a phone call for your issue, we're definitely more than willing to call you. And uh, just be patient with our help desk. They're going to do the best they can to make sure that they provide you with answers that you need or any assistance that you may have. And also we're going to have videos that are going to help you throughout the way. So now that we got that said, in this video, we're going to show you how to update your box step by step. And what is an update? Well, a lot of times when you are using a streaming media center, sometimes things have to be updated. So as I scroll through on the screen here, I'm going to open the media center and I'm going to show you the box as it is in its current state. And a lot of times links have to be changed, repositories have to be updated. Sometimes there are errors with the apps and they have to be corrected and sometimes we may add new features or add new things and a lot of times you may give us suggestions and we may implement your suggestions into the media center because we again we built this for you this is your media center that we build for you now how do you know when it's time to update well if you look at the very bottom of the screen it says happy holidays from miracle box please be sure to visit miracleboxhelp.com well we're going to let you know in a message at the bottom of your screen when it's time to update. Now the reason why you're here is because you're probably seeing a different message on the screen now and it's telling you about updating so that is why you're watching this video right now. So first of all let me show you the media center before you update. So one of the things that we wanted to fix was we had to fix the 100 live which is the premium live right here that you see in the left hand corner. If, if you click that you'll notice that that's not working properly and it needs to be fixed as you see there is an error right there so this is something that we do on the technical side to keep your box running great to keep it running smooth so that's one thing that we're going to fix in this update and a few things we're going to fix as well is some of you have asked on the TV shows could we add a feature that would allow you to search so down in here we're going to actually add a feature that's going to let you search for your favorite TV show so you'll see that in the update and another thing you'll see in the update is we have actually updated the music section and we fixed a few things there and again these are not our apps these are third-party developer apps and when they send us new repositories we actually get right to work on them and fix them and another thing that you'll notice is in the new update is that we actually have a little bit more adult content than just the one app here so we've added more there um, by popular demand as well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to show you how to update from where you're at now. So the first thing you want to do is on your remote you want to press the home button. I'm going to do that right now. Then once you press the home button you're going to end up back to the main screen. The next thing you want to do is you want to be sure that you close all apps. So go over to close all apps, highlight it, and press OK. And when you do that, you're going to see a little screen that comes over, and there it is. It's letting you know that it closed everything out. Now, you must do close apps or the update will not work correctly. So after you have done the close apps and you press that, the next step is very, very simple. You don't have to move very far. You're going to go to where it says Update Miracle Box. So we're going to scroll over right beside the close apps and we're going to update the miracle box. So we're going to hit OK and then we're going to go down to install miracle build. We're going to hit OK and it's going to ask us do we want to do local or do we want to do remote. Well ladies and gentlemen you always always choose remote because that is going to download the fixes in the, in the updated media center from our remote server. So click over to remote press OK. Now this part is simply a little bit of a waiting game. It will start to download as you see. And what you want to do from here is patiently wait 
or the download. So we're going to fast forward this so you don't have to sit there and wait um, the entire time. But this could take anywhere from five minutes to up to 30 minutes. This is going to depend on how fast your internet is. And uh, just again, from this point, you're just simply waiting. Okay, once you see this message here that says Kodi Data Successfully Restored, you have successfully downloaded the updated MiracleBox 3.0 Media Center. So from this point, we're going to press OK on our remote. And if you got your box after February 24th, 2014, you don't have to do this because um, your box is already going to be downloading the latest and greatest when you open it up. But if you had your box before September 24, 2017, then definitely do this if you want an update. So we're going to hit the home button here and it's going to take us back to the main screen and we're going to open Media Center, press OK, and remember you just downloaded probably over two gigs of a Media Center so do not touch anything but like the first one to three minutes just if you can tie your hands or handcuff yourself keep your hand off that remote don't touch anything let this thing propagate and let it properly add the updates and you'll see them pretty shortly and you'll see the auto cleaner come up but that's the most important part is when you do an update just be very very patient and allow it to propagate to your box properly so we're just in, simply waiting here just for everything to kind of clear. Alright, and you're going to start to see updates here. And you're going to see some skin stuff, you're going to see all kinds of stuff happening. But you want to let all this stuff happen to the background. You want to let this thing build out. and. Uh, download. You definitely don't want to jump the gun by pressing anything. Let it do what it does. There's the auto cleaner. It looks like from here you'll be pretty much um, good to go. So if you just want to take a look at all of the updates then you can basically we'll go over to the adult section and you'll see that the update took. So let's go to adult and you're going to see like more options. As you see there are more options added. At first we just had XX content so now we have the, um, you know, more adult content for you, for you, for those of you who are interested in that type of thing. And then let's go over to the TV shows. And as we said earlier, we added a search feature for TV shows. So this will be on the new update as well. So if you want to click on that, it will allow you to simply search the actual applications for uh, different TV shows. You can type it in and it will literally find it if you just want to do a type in search. Easy way to get there. So we're going to back out of that. And also again we've updated sports. We didn't show you that but we did that. And one of the biggest things that we did is we actually fixed the 100 channel live glitch that was happening. And remember whenever you update it is very very important that you remember this. Whenever you update you always have to put in your passwords all over again. The only thing you don't have to insert is if you have the premium live here, which is a, a 700 channel or the up and coming 1400 channel. You don't have to do anything with that. All of your stuff will be stored because that's a Mac ID address. But with the premium live and the premium sports, you will have to insert your password again on every update. So again, there's a video on how to do that 
here on this help site. So if you were to click Premium Live, you'll see that it is now fixed and it's going to ask you for a subscription. So that way you would enter your username and password if that is what you paid to have and it will work fine. So that was one thing that we got fixed as well. So as you see, it goes right into username and password. And so now that will work. And pretty much the update was successful. And again, everything updated as it was supposed to. So you, as you see here, we actually added one-click movies. So you have movies that you can get with one click and a few other things that we've added. So again, you have a lot of things here that we've added to use. And we'll be doing more updates as you guys suggest. So again, thank you so much for watching this video. And enjoy your updates. And don't forget to put in all your passwords to all of your premium services. And if you do have the 700 live, you don't have to worry about doing anything. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this video, and we will see you in the next one. Have an amazing day.